Hello, this is Paul Hubbard with OnlineLessonVideos.com. In this lesson, we'll be studying the famous melody Lullaby by Johannes Brahms, or more commonly known as Brahms Lullaby. In this version, you'll be playing in the first through fourth positions with the left hand, as well as covering subjects such as legato, bow strokes, smooth bow changes, smooth string crossings, and of course, shifting. I hope you enjoy the lesson. One of the main challenges in this melody, Brahms Lullaby, is that we'll be dealing a lot with the legato bow stroke as well as uh, string crossings and shifting. And they all kind of come together. And in this lesson, what we'll try to do is break it down a little bit and keep in mind that uh, you can start quite slowly with this selection and uh, work on your intonation and that. And I'll try as we go along to sort of make you aware of some of the pitfalls, say for instance, if you have a string crossing or a shift, things that you can think about while you practice so that you can execute really a more singing style on the violin. So let's get started. And we start in the first position. I tried to keep the opening phrase in the first position. And of course we start with a G sharp and one of the um, challenges in this arrangement is that it is in the key of E major, and that may be less familiar to some of you. So let's start with that G sharp. And you'll notice that there are dots beneath the eighth notes, but you don't really need to take those too literally. In, in Brahms music especially, notes tend to be more elongated, really more in a singing style. So really all you have, I like to call it an indentation between the two notes. So what you do is you begin with some bow speed to give it some, some air, just like you would if you were a singer. And then you just pause for a moment, let the bow cruise. So you end up with that kind of effect. So it should sound like that. There's just a little bit of a, a comma or an indentation between the two notes. So let me play the, the very opening segment. Now coincidentally here we have almost a rocking motion with the bow between the D and A strings just like the lullaby is sort of a rocking uh, cradle song. So we go from the D So try to get a hold of a mirror and watch the motion. Because you don't want any sudden movements because it really plays against the style that you're trying to, to achieve in this, in this selection. So let's take the first opening phrase, starting again with the G sharp. And then it's as if there's just a, a slight breath. Let's do that again. So you have half a phrase. 